Welcome to the show, Outlier Show, your host Rizwan Rashid, and my guest tonight is from all the way from Pakistan, a friend of mine who actually demonstrated his outlier ability for long. And I've been, you know, itching to have him on my show because I wanted to help you understand the people from all different parts of the world actually demonstrate that power of ability to share their knowledge wisdom in all shapes and forms i love his this person because his one of his quotation just connected with me and his profession really well that life worth only when it spend happily and my friends my viewers and all the people around the world what i really want to share with you tonight is a person who came from some part of adversity, which he will explain a little bit in his earlier life and how he overcome this adversity, changing his trajectory to excellence by one, two or many opportunities, but it definitely did for him and all others. And now he turned that, the whole spectrum to you. To all of you because he became a certified life coach a corporate trainer and an online influencer because this is how he's spreading his wing and helping others giving the platform please help me welcome Shazad Ahmed from I explore Pakistan assalamu alaikum and welcome to the show wa alaikum assalam and thank you very much thanks a lot for just and a marvelous introduction of mine. I'm a humble creation and I'm humble uh, being on this platform right now. Thank you so much, uh, Shazad, for accepting my invitation to come on the show because we heard a lot about you. We know a lot about you. But here's the today I wanted to share with everybody who you are and, and why you do what you do. Uh, and the decor of my forum talk about, you know, outliers. Uh, the outliers who actually uh, living on the outskirt of human potential and actually capitalize on one of the opportunity. Shazad, if I may ask you, how do you describe yourself as an outlier? Thank you once again, uh, Rizwan, for asking the question and uh, sh uh, sharing my, uh, my thoughts. Uh, to me, anyone is, who is in the belief that life is given uh, to work as per excellence level is the one who is going to be the outlier. So to me, a person who works smartly towards the purpose of life is the one who is going to do justice with the life. And this is what I have tried to do in my previous life so far. Uh, I carry uh, an experience of three adversities, which if given a chance, I will share briefly the details of which will tell you that how it makes me work on this, this liar concept in my life. Wow. Three adversities and more. But here's this guy who, who actually worked in corporate sector for at least over a decade and now turned him himself into helping others. So tell me about one of your adversity and how you changed that into your opportunity, Shazad. Before I go into direct answer of this question, Rizwan, uh, to me, uh, when these problems or adversities in the challenging times are just like human beings who are standing in queue in order to embrace Rizwan. You know, when you embrace one person and you, you are done with him and you find another person standing in a queue to embrace you, this is exactly what happens in our lives when we talk about the challenging times you overcome one adversity and problem and you find another one standing in queue to meet you. And I usually ask and tell people that what you have to do is just to change the watching lens towards these problems. And you simply start watching the problems as opportunities standing in queue to meet you. You know, what one opportunity you are done with you're going to see another opportunity bigger than the first one standing in queue to meet you. So when you ask me the one, one adversity which I encountered in my life, the first one out of three was a financial adversity in the challenging times we as one family unit had experienced in our childhood. 
So we were financially crunched. You, uh, you tell me and share me any definition of poverty line in your dictionary. And I'm going to tell you that we as family unit were below that poverty line. And having embraced that financial aspect in the challenging times, we were to fight for life like anything. You mm -hmm. know, you know, life is made and wired. The brain works for your survival. And he, the brain is always happy if we are in the survival mode. And we were made that way. We had battled every day for survival of the life. There was no option available for us. So uh, we will go into the details if time allows. But first and the foremost was financial adversity in the challenging times I have mm -hmm. encountered in my life. So how did you change? How did you, what was that, uh, that push you to get out of it? Because I know you overcome that adversity and you became the financially independent person. How did you change it? What? What the actions you did? Rizwan, you are making me go back 40 years from today. And this is like a lovely feeling I have today because I can see the people watching this uh, show. And I want to tell your viewers that as long as you are having faith and belief in yourself and in your creator, that you are made to do wonders in your life. You are made to do excellence in your life you are going to get your destination. Uh, overcoming financial adversity, just with the belief of having, uh, having the potential of doing that thing. And number two, setting the goals for yourself. And third and the foremost was work hard and smart. Work while others were sleeping. And you have the belief, you are working smartly, you are making goals in the defined timelines, and then you're working hard like anything, you're going to achieve your goal. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, awesome. So you understand, uh, viewers, if you just notice that uh, this person has is graciously giving that uh, understanding and ability to share his uh, wisdom and knowledge, but he's not letting you see that the pain he came through and that is a powerful personality stance that you do not want to indulge giving the pain but also the only the pleasure so how does one of the op uh, door opened up for you for success that led you to new world to new vision to new mission what you currently have you're, you're saying that which door opened at that time, right? Yeah, yeah. Which door, what door opened that gave you that opportunity, that gave you the new mission, that gave you that new way of uh, becoming who you are now? Rizwan, 27 years ago, that was a wintry, chilly night of November 1993, when I was sitting in a hostel room with a few of my friends. And friend adjacent to me on my left, was carrying a weapon with the confidence that it is empty and without any bullet in it. And nobody in that room knew that that empty weapon was carrying only single one bullet in its chamber and it was marked for nobody else other than Shazad. And that person, that friend of mine, uh, took the weapon towards me and he, he just candidly pressed the trigger. And you know what happened? There was a blast and there was a loud shout in the room, which was caused due to the winter and the, the chilliness. And then I found out that miracle was starting uh, to take place at that moment. That one single bullet left me with five blood depleting outlets in my body. After these 27 years, even today, when I tell this story to the viewers on the public forums, people tend to not believe in it, that a single bullet entering from the left arm, ex exiting from here, the other part, entering into chest, and then the right and exit from the other end, breaking my both the arms, multiple fractures, breaking all the nerves inside it, and doing the, all the damage to the skin. I usually say that bullets are made purposely to do the damage. And that single bullet lived 
up to its purpose completely. I was depleting from five outlets in my body and I got fainted. And then next two years told me that this is the door which will open for you into to in order to enter into the new arena of making the people live purpose driven life. And to answer your question, this physical adversity, which happened 27 years ago, Mm -hmm. ignited the spark in my personality that I am born with some bigger purpose. And then it took me 28 years to find out that purpose. And now today you see me working day and night exactly upon the purpose of my life. Wow. Wow. That's a, that's a powerful uh you know, think that uh, coming out of uh, that weakest moment and darkest moment of your life, you are looking at what could come and what could have happened and what you can do in, in the rest of it. Uh, wow, that, that, that's a very powerful thing that uh, in the line when you were bleeding, you were thinking how you can change, how, what is your purpose and you found that purpose and connected with that purpose. That is some powerful. Before going to the break, I want to ask you one more because it's kind of related to this. That what is the first thing, what is the first step you did after you become recovered from the hospital and came back? Because everybody wants to know, okay, you know, you, you become enlightened. That revelation came to you. Your purpose is some distinct. What is the first step you took right after leaving the hospital? Beautiful question, Rizwan, and probably you are among very few people who visualize this story and ask this question similar to this one. And the answer is again uh, amazing. And because I'm talking my heart today, and the answer is the moment I was still in hospital, I started talking with my God. You mm -hmm. know, that event told me how to converse, how to have the conversation with God. Mm -hmm. I was all the time I was asking myself and, and God that what was wrong in me, why you have chosen me to, to embrace this adversity while seven or eight other people were sitting there. Mm -hmm. So today, after 27 years, when I stand on public forums, I publicly pay my gratitude to Allah saying that I'm the lucky one that you chose me at that time. And the moment I was leaving the hospital, I was having the oath with myself that this life is given to me one more time. And I'm going to do justice with this life. And that justice is only possible when I will start living to my excellence. And that moment onward, I have always tried to do the things which are above average, which makes me stand out of the mob. I wake up early in the morning. I do. I, I win the battle of the bed every day. I come out of the mattress and do for what the mind says. And this is all about uh, about the excellence of life. Mm -hmm. Wow! For all the viewers who are captive of weariness, Shazad is coining the concept: How do you revolve? Uh, I can't even say revolutionize his thought process and how he changed his life trajectory for himself and for others. Now, we're going to take a short break. We're going to come back. We're going to ask him a question how he's actually changing for the people out there in Pakistan in his circle of influence and changing. You are watching Outlier Show, your host Rizwan Rashid, and my guest Shazad Ahmed from Pakistan. And we'll be right back asking more. Don't go away. Welcome back and welcome back to a powerful session where Shahzad was just sharing his 27 years old wound, how he changed his thought process, connecting to his inner self and that inner self changed him from a corporate world uh, sales guy to a life coach and guru. And here's why, because connecting to your inner self is a deeper meaning. It's sharing you who you are and why you are on this planet Earth. 
and Shazad beautifully describe his reasoning. And I'm going to ask him now, Shazad, that uh, as a life coach, when did you got into life coach and what was your first success story? What is your first success you saw, observe, acclaim as your success? <laughs> Rezan, uh, life coach, being the life coach uh, was not accidental. I believe that there is nothing random in the universe. All the dots in the universe are always connected. <clears throat> so, uh, being the life coach was not random. I had seen the value of life and its experiences, which makes the character of a person himself. So, when all those experiences of different adversities made me convert those obstacles into opportunities, I found it to be my responsibility to convert the obstacles of other people in their life into their opportunities. Mm -hmm. Then what happened is I usually go for 10 days hibernation time every year for the last 28 years, where in those 10 days, I tend to get disconnected from all these social media distractions and even my family members and tend to mingle up with few like-minded people where we tend to find out the purpose of our life, what we have done in last year and what are the future plans for the next year. So around 10 years from today, it was 2010 when I was in that 10 days of hibernation mode when I met a person, a young boy who was from Canada and he was there in Pakistan on his annual leave and he surprisingly intercept one day me while I was walking in a hall and he asked me the question that am I Shazad? And when I told him that you have met the right person, you know what he said? He said that I flew all the way from from Canada to meet you. Wow. And you cannot imagine the feelings I had at that time. It was a mixed blend of excitement, uh, responsibility and accountability. And that guy asked me the question that are you going to help me with my personal life, which I have been facing uh, before coming to this hibernation mode and my if I enabled him to tell him, tell me the, tell me his story, that how he was go, encountering the uh, the social pressure mm -hmm. of divorcing his wife because of the uh, family issues, we went into the number of series of discussions, which got elastic as many as hours. Be, be, because we had ample time be, without any social media distractions and family responsibilities. And by the end of 10th day, he was fully motivated. He was full of energy and he was ready to launch his all the plans while going out of that mode. Today, he is a happily married person with a little daughter of seven years old. And he is living in Canada like anything, prospering in his career. So that moment told me that, uh, that when the life experiences covered and wrapped up with the skill of listening good and giving the best of your maturity comments to the recipient will make the other person change his course of action in his life. That was the moment which told me that I have to jump into this life coaching thing. And with an experience, extensive experience of 20 years of employment in the best rated employers of Pakistan, I have recently quit the job and I have entered into this arena after having certification of life coaching. I work as parental consultant and I'm giving the corporate trainings in organizational behaviors as well. Wow. Wow. You know, um, I noted two different things and, and both are, are uh, you know, a really, what do you call, linear, uh, constructive way. One is 
uh, you are connecting for 10 days to your inner thing and that is one of the behavior what billionaires have and your story of the young boy uh, really connected you to your life coach and before you got into this field you saw a success within that 10 days and definitely uh, the 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 level of gratitude because I think uh, we all as entrepreneurs and coach feel that gratification of fulfillment when we see the transformation happen in someone else's life and that's the best reward someone can get. Okay, uh, let's let's uh, move on to the next part of it as a life coach because uh, you you are the person who actually walk the life exactly and how you actually transform yourself and others. So walk us through as a life coach. How do you get get your clients to present or get in front of more opportunities? Uh, get get in front of more opportunities, right? Uh, Rizwan, uh, to me, being human means having doubts uh, and still moving on. We all have our set of questions within us and we all have all the answers in the same universe but with some other person. We just have to find the right person to have answers to our questions. And this is what I try to do with my clients and my customers. Uh, to me, my clients are my family members and I try to give them the perspective or what which is not visible to them at times which gives them the opportunity and see the difficult times as opportunity to themselves i believe in three i concept is one and three i states the first one is identity that who am i and this really coincides with your philosophy as well <laughs> you know what i'm uh, talking about identity versus roles and that second i out of three is important why am I on this earth? Why am I born? And the third one is the impact. What impact can I have on the whole universe? So the next time you are going to press the like button on any post of the Facebook, you have to ask your question first, that is this going to create a positive impact on the whole, whole universe or not? This is what I do with my clients. I tend to give them the perspective which is not visible to them. And I have seen people flying. They have changed their career courses. They have, they are, they have been happily married. They are good in their socialization. Financial balance sheets. They have earned well. They have changed their employments. They have gone into the businesses and the list goes on. Mm -hmm. Wow. Wow. So now, uh, you know, for the benefit of our viewers, uh, because now we understand your, your uh, methodologies and everything, but how do you see uh, yourself? What is your next quest? Where, where are you going? What's uh, your, how do the, how do you impacting more? <laughs> I always say that you have to be an ocean who is walking behind the lake, you know, a every good thing should uh, should come with a little more bigger excellence in it. We, as human beings, usually tend to see the trees so minutely that at times we lose the sight of the forest. You know, at uh, being the life coach, I tell the people that you see the problems to the magnitude and respect them, what they deserve and not more than that. So my, my next quest was never in my dictionary uh, two quarters ago. I was all set to go physically to times in, uh, in one city to the city B to the city C. And that was what I was doing extensively before this quarantine and this Corona and COVID things comes in. And that, that makes me land into the next quest of my ex I explore endeavor. I quickly maneuvered and pivot myself in order to go into that digital transformation. And today you, you have witnessed as well because you were, you were guest in one of my episodes. Today I have crossed 112th program where I was able to connect with people all around the world. So the, my next quest tells me that I have to connect further 500 people in order to spread positivity in these uncertain times. 
and tell the young entrepreneurs and startups that how they can steer through uncertainty and all that coming directly from the words in the voice of all the wisdomful people st starting from west africa south africa africa nigeria ghana malaysia canada us singapore switzerland you tell me the name of the country and i'm going to tell you that i have connected the people from there only with one intent and that is the intent of giving positivity to the people around the world wow shazad you have done 112 shows from all across the world and people are watching you people are connecting with you and that uh, new trajectory is taken to you and and i love your passion that you're going to connect to 500 people when you are extracting all the knowledge wisdom from all those people and spreading the love throughout so you are not only extracting for you but for everyone else and i know want to know who is this guy and who how do i connect with them uh, shazad ahmed is a life coach uh, in pakistan and uh, work under his uh, uh, i explore uh, with that and and he actually uh, gave that uh, great eye and three eyes uh, his uh, his topology shazad how do they connect with you it's very simple. The simplest way is to WhatsApp me on voice note uh, through WhatsApp and I'm going to answer and reply then. Uh, I have all the social media connecting modes. Uh, I mean, I have website, uh, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube and all that stuff. But the simplest and the convenient one for both the parties, I have always found it to be the WhatsApp uh, uh, connectivity through voice note. Okay. And your website is? It states that it's www.iexplore.training.com. Okay, www.iexplore.training.com, and from there you can see all his social media uh, as well as connectivity. And he prefer to have an in-person uh, communication, and that is through the phone line. Uh, you know, that's a life coach that he does not believe in that. Uh, you know, that uh, social media or emails but a heart to heart conversation um, you know shadad we are coming to the end of uh, the show i want you to because you already uplifted our emotion thoughts and and uh, you know ambitions i want you to leave our audience with a higher note that uh, your inspirational message uh, before going to that is uh, when you say that connectivity question i i was wondering to share with my viewers uh, that uh, since i believe in purpose driven life it comes uh, to the purpose of everything we do. So, um, I have 20 years of experience in sales and distribution. So recently I have introduced an online course which, which is titled as Purpose Driven Sales. So anybody who wants to join that program, he can join that online course of, that will tell the salesman that how to become the good and great salesman when it is connected with some bigger purpose other than target achievements and incentives and all that stuff. So leaving all the viewers after this show, I believe that uh, striving for success without hard work is just, is just like trying to harvest where you have not planted. This is my guest Shehzad Ahmed from Pakistan. He, I declare you as an outlier because you overcome the adversities, find the lessons within and using those lessons, you took that opportunity to gain momentum and giving new hope, new opportunities and new dimensions to the people around the world. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, you are watching Outlier Show where, where we bring Outlier, who is performing on outskirt of human potential, doing something amazing. And if you are an outlier and you have done something amazing or you want to do something amazing, we would like to be on, you on the show. You are watching Outlier Show. Until next time, have a good night.